I don't think Fias has any religious insight to provide into this. Eva would basically just sort of double down on what Falk would say. <laughs> uh, Mina is a religious scholar in her acolyte training, but not something for this. And also, she doesn't think it's a good idea anyway, so she's going <laughs> to abstain. What Eva can do, alongside agreeing with what Falk says, is provide a bardic. Which might be very, very, very important right now. <laughs> so, I think... Let's see. Meditation and core mindedness, I think that's solid advice. I don't know if holding... I don't, just solely for how Roma is as a person, I'm going to roll to see if the Sviarian method is effective with her. The, the just be good law. Because she does have a minus. She, she used to be a streak zero. gang, right? Does she have a rebellious streak? Not really, funnily enough. <laughs> she has. This is her rebellious past, streak. Now that I think about it, <laughs> this is her rebellious streak. Exp expressed some. Maybe that. Not resentment towards her home, but definitely trepidation. I shall roll a charisma save. Phew! Oh. <laughs> she has one luck point left. I think she Let's would probably it. use it. Just give her inspiration and use it here. Yeah, we, we did the Ooh. recap. She can have it. <laughs> yeah. You guys see, can... see your, your recap inspo? Can I, can I do something, Crash? You can attempt do something. Well, we'll Recaps see if it does push. anything. Yeah, I will attempt it. Uh, I'll, I'll tell... I'll uh, kind of say this to Roma. I know your faith and mine are vastly different, but there is comfort in knowing that you're not alone. I do not know if this will aid you, but perhaps it will serve as a reminder that We support you in, in the capacity that we are able. You don't have to walk into the lion's den alone. Now we'll attempt to use uh, an extended shield of faith on her. Okay. Yeah. I think... Hmm. Wrong a persuasion check. This wouldn't affect this roll. Not the Sviarian roll. No, I figured. My, yeah, I might affect the actual roll. Oh. And it will. <laughs> to the list of I'd... crits. So the duration would be 20 minutes because it's doubles. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter the duration on this. I don't think it's good. I don't think the roll is going to happen beyond 10 minutes. Three. So, you guys are willing to give her the recap in spell? Confirm. I am, yes. I'm done. Yeah. Confirm. Beep beep. Pew! That's way better. Hell yeah. She has the strength of self-presence. To be so defiant. Alright. So that means your advice takes hold. Now to Chin. Does your advice take hold oh. an open-mindedness to it? I'll Mina's say on its yes terms, it... but expects something bad. Yes, I think sh I think that is a positive in this case. Although it could definitely spell into negative, but I think it's positive mm. in this case solely because she is vying to find out how to be rid of it. Mm. Near or is desperate. What if it turns out the thing also wants to be rid of her? <laughs> I don't know. Nah, I don't know. Nah, I, don't, I don't think that's the case, unfortunately. Uh, as for. Uh, Dolly and the Talisman, I think the 19 of the craftsmanship holds it. So that's what? Yeah. Plus four to her roll result. Okay. One, two, three, four. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> would it be a religion roll or would it be like a wisdom save? It, how religious Ooh. is this? It's a, it's a pondering into the theology of the inner machinations of the doll. 
of this enigma. Yeah, but I guess in the this sort of one-time communion sense, I would say yeah, it's probably more of a save, a wisdom save, which is good because they're, yeah, it's a, that's a plus three instead of a plus two. But I digress. All right, fingies crossed. Fingies, fingies crossed, everyone. Crossing my fingies, my toes. Yeah. No, that's bad luck. You can't do both. I uh, yeah. uh, so about that lucky point. <laughs> about that lucky point. Oh. Twelve. About that bardic. Four. Sixteen. Mm -hmm. That's a uh, I don't suppose uh, there's any artificers in the room. <laughs> of that of that level capacity, huh? Uh, Grover is level seven. Proximity. And they he would definitely have like a plus five. Flash of genius. I'd allow it. A flask of genius. <laughs> Actually, no. Grover wouldn't be an artificer. It'd be Nova. And Nova's always got your guys back. Yeah, take that. Oh, yeah. Take that. Uh, how much is a modifier? So we know how wicked smart she is. Uh, five. I'm surprised not higher. Nice. She's only human. Uh, After uh, all. <laughs> so oh plus God. four plus five, so nine. Twenty-one plus the bardic. This could 26. be good. Ooh. 26 total result. That's pretty fucking solid. At level fucking 4, that's really fucking solid. <laughs> okay. So, Roma begins to commune, meditate, uh, focusing upon Zetal. And as she does so, for a couple minutes, nothing happens. <laughs> you guys are thinking... It didn't work. <laughs> or like it's she... not effective. Or like maybe she, she is communing wrong. with it and only she she's hearing it. Like, I don't fucking know, right? Mm -hmm. But then the candles in the room start dimming. The moonlight that peels in from outside seems dimmer. The place itself centraling oh. around Roma and the doll laying across her lap grows darker. So Loss has got to use this. <laughs> We're gonna use Leon Tacitus? No, this, this isn't Leon's music. That's Rage of I Demons. Always, I always get it mixed up. <laughs> no, I know exactly why I'm gonna use Rage of Demons, but it depends on which avenue you guys go to. I digress, though. As this space around her grows darker. This, like, not the darkness spell, but halfway equivalent to it. Like, this heavy obscurement that surrounds her. There is one thing that strikes true that is keenly and easily seen through it. These lines, these silvery lines that descend down upon the doll from one point, directly above it. Six string strands, rather. Actually, no, we'll overcomplicate it. Well, well, why not? A dozen strands that's trickled down to various parts of the doll. Sourcing to one progenitor point. That is immediately visible to all of you guys. As you guys see, the doll begin to stand up like a puppet masters and its strings. And for a moment... Well, not for a moment. You guys know now that the communion was successful! But then you guys see Roma begin to move in a similar doll-like manner, and then revealing themselves, starting from her, pulling back to a progenitor point is another dozen strings. She and the doll mimic each other's motions, or rather, the puppet master shares the same controlling motions for both of them. Also, Fred, I hear your keyboard, like, click-clacking. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. Roma speaks in a voice not her own, bereft of its uh, usual Ventorian accent, her native tongue, so to speak. And so... We finally speak. <laughs> she chuckles with this cruel sneer to her face. It's ironic, though. 
given that she can't talk. But I at least can speak to all of you, can't I? Roma opens her eyes from her meditation, quote-unquote Roma, opens her eyes, and you see that her eyes are just rolled back in this possession that she is suffering. Hello, all of you. Good evening. What a nice, pleasant night. looks shared all around i assume <laughs> yeah everyone's like oh, oh. all right who's gonna talk to the spooky shit <laughs> <laughs> this just steps up to the plate what the fuck you doing <laughs> who are we speaking to i wouldn't grace you with my name for it might be turned against me I am the wielder of this <laughs> onyx figurine. My vessel. Vessels, now. She says she lifts up the arm of the doll, but also the arm of Roma in the same fluid motion. You may call me by your illuminated speech, I believe it's called. Roma's Puppet Master. I believe that is a fitting name you have all determined for me already. Why not keep using it? Alright, Puppet Master. Why have you attached yourself to Roma? Well, I didn't have much of a choice. She was the only one left alive. Which... She looks at Anvil. By the way, she turns back to you guys. Wasn't my fault or doing. Whose was it? The... Magos? Magos? However you pronounce it, she does a dismissive wave of the doll's hand and Roma's hand. doesn't make sense. Wasn't it already being delivered to him? It was. And it still can be, can't it? But uh, a paranoid wizard always puts some defenses, some words, in the container. So You'll need... Take it. Well, the girl did, of course. Although she wasn't the only one. Tiss, tiss, tiss. They really should have sent some proper mages to steal a mage's treasure. Oh well. They're all dead now. And with their death, my freedom. And with Roma here, that freedom assured. Or at least, more likely. Let's go to the Magos then. <laughs> of course not. In due time, I will find him and give him my proper thanks for awakening me and due punishment for trying to enslave me. But all in due time. For now, I have. Bigger and brighter things on the horizon. And since I have a captive audience, she says, grandiosely gesturing across the crowd in the room. I offer you all a deal. I am seeking my true power. Accompany and help me Accel accelerate my quest <laughs> and I will gladly give you all some fragment of it for all the good you guys will be able to use it for 
Or perhaps we might be able to fix you so that you can wield it better. Do this, and once I have my true power back, I won't have need of the figurine or aroma as a vessel. I'll be able to walk around myself. And what would you do with such freedom? Besides the make magic Besides the the one I was trying to imprison. <laughs> uh, word apparently. Uh, she thinks for a moment. It's really weird seeing such an expression on Roma. This childlike glee tinged with malice. Oh. I would simply... She chuckles. Fix the world back to what it should be. Back to what it was. She looks at Theo. I'm sure your Echo Keen might have an idea on that. Invite him. I'd be happy when the time arrives to deliver him a traitor's justice. They of course an eyebrow at that, but doesn't clearly doesn't believe the fucking dark spirit. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'll be sure to pass on the invites. And then I'm sure he'll be able to pass down an ass kicking onto you. <laughs> he'll try. We could just jump you right now. And then kill your friend? <laughs> I don't think you would. I don't think you have the grit. <laughs> he squints his eyes. We kill Roman. Uh, <laughs> 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 Dolly's like, I'm already looking how to bring one person back. I can, I can handle two. <laughs> Quest accepted. Bring <laughs> Roman back to life. <laughs> there is a or his Theo's eyes change to an orange coloration, and he's just like, "You're Let's right," try. but also I'm a defiant, spiteful cunt, <laughs> <laughs> and I'll still, I can still do something here. I don't know what, but there's something. To be fair, killing Roma in her state, I don't, don't think it would really affect this thing. Okay, so we break the doll. Good luck. She looks at Anvil. You of all people know how sturdy this is. He crosses his arms and doesn't say anything. <laughs> and besides, you think I would just give you the chance? I would just lay there and let you break my vessel? You're sorely mistaken. Let's say we did. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. No. Looking at the strings, do they simply appear through the darkness? Yep. Piercing through it, really. Piercing. It's interesting. Just, they don't give off a glow themselves. They don't illuminate anything, but they themselves are more akin to like a neon light, clearly illuminated. But somehow don't give off light. Very fascinating. And I would assume that there's nothing in in Caradox experience that, that is similar to it. Mm -mm. Yeah. And I was curious, does the darkness feel at all similar to like the the pre-pitch nightfall? It does. Mm. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> that is a. I must. I would give you an inspiration. That is a. Th take it. That is a very good insight. Moon was going. I, I already have a, a, a muffin. What do oh we do? Wait. You should... Wait. We've never gone to this point before. <laughs> Ultra Mega Muffin. <laughs> that's, 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 that's ultra Mega I don't even know what that would do. Like, what, 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 what would it re-roll at that point? <laughs> like, God, you know, are already like the top of like what I have to offer for rolls. You roll it again Wait. to get a different DM. <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> I 
<laughs> no, don't do that. I I can run black watch to the overrun like, game. Like we can do it without <laughs> your permission. <laughs> Crash's first act, running Blackwatch, it. murder Jacob. I guess I could just give it, you can just give it to whoever, since you are AR capped out. Uh, I, I'll, I'll give it to Kirsty Roma, since she used hers just now, so if something does happen and she needs it, <laughs> insurance. The, the only time you guys give Kirsty inspiration <laughs> is... <laughs> Well, of course, we can't, we can't give her that high. <laughs> because she actually needs it this time. <laughs> okay, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, and we, we can tell her about it when she comes back. Uh, yeah, it'd be, a funny, it'd be a funny bit, it'd be a funny story. Okay, okay, I marked out a sheet. So let's say we actually want to help you. Where do we even start? I'm so glad you asked that, Dahlia. We begin our <laughs> trek north, northwest of here. To what end? To a destination. I a never would have guessed. A structure far north of here in a land whose magic swallows and throws off all that enter in. But I know the way. Look at everyone else. Fuck's already shaking his head. But, mm, 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 mm. No. <laughs> Empowering this thing would be very, very stupid thing to do. It would free <laughs> Dahlia, I mean, maybe. All the powers you guys would get, though. Like, like... Yeah, that'd be kind of sick. I don't want to be the villain. <laughs> Babylon Gonzo. I think, I think Dahlia just deadpans, like, alright, y'all aren't getting what I'm going for. So just... <laughs> no, just tell us. <laughs> what uh, is. It... She's not yeah, going to no say it out loud, but, but my intent is... I was just trying to give us any kind of hints to try and figure out what this thing is. Fish for information. Yeah. Very smart. Yeah. She doesn't She doesn't think this is a good idea at all. But if you make it think that you think it does. <laughs> or is. Let's put, that, let's put that to a roll, even if you don't have uh, help from your allies. Roll me deception. This is one of the oh, no. best case uses for <laughs> deceiving. Oh no! No one deceive. No, I'm not bad. I'm not bad. I'm bad at those. I don't think anyone here is good at. Oh. Well, okay, there's Eva, but no player character is good at those. I think. I think. Considering yeah, I have a minus uh, one, that's pretty good. Yeah, uh, yeah. I was about to say you. You yeah. can say that. I know you all at worst have a minus one. She still rolled a twenty result. <laughs> um, because I'm trying to help the group and I'm lying to something evil. Do I get guidance? I'm, you can't see, but I'm like blinking my eyelash. I'm batting my eyelashes all prettily. This is a character <laughs> point for Terry Dog. <laughs> I'm, He's trying help with lying I'm trying to help. I'm trying to do good. I lying to Eva. I would say Eva would also give you a Barda because this is exactly what her her machination was for us, right? We don't need to yeah. agree with it. We just need to find out info about it. Eva's running out of Barda. Am I gonna have any rules after this that I'm gonna have to worry about? That I might want to save the Bardic for? Well, you know, if I was like, if I planned this thoroughly, um, I would be able to give you an answer to that, but I didn't, so. Alright! Uh, we're, we're making the story as we're flying along it. I, I I want this thing not to find out that that's my plan. <laughs> so I that's do. understandable. <laughs> that's understandable. <gasps> so, 22. Yes? 22 is not bad. <laughs> Doth not be bad. Yeah, yeah right. <gasps> So what do you, seeing that you're not getting any aid from your uh, allies here, she doesn't seem to, have, as far as she can express on a face that's not her own, uh, <laughs> she doesn't seem to have caught on to your, your lie, which it might make sense coming from you of all people, the person also with a dark presence <laughs> in your head. That's <laughs> really in your head, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I haven't. Okay. <laughs> right, so maybe that's why she trusts you more than everyone else. That surely you of all people understand this. The importance for power, <laughs> the merit. She said that her her last thing that she said was, um, she knows the way, right? She knows the way to the structure, which is northwest of here. Correct. Yeah. Far northwest, she said. Far northwest. Yeah. 
Um, and also that I think the area is it's, in it's a, a way magically there. guarded that it can't Correct. really be traversed. Yes, the, the terrain yeah. will magically swallow and throw off, or I guess kill. Like <laughs> that's also an option. Um, those that are in the zone, try to get out So if we're meant to follow directions from you, it sounds like you're not going to give them right now. How are we supposed to keep talking to you? Do this every time? She smiles. I'm always listening. But we can't always hear you. If Roma is more willing, I can take control of her form as we need it. Or, as you say, we could repeat this... Nice boring. Uh, we can repeat this <laughs> ritual. And it will get easier in time as she grows more accustomed to doing it. Like training a muscle. Just sounds cumbersome on the road. Mm, worry not if we do embark upon this quest. I'll be sure to give a good set of instructions and directions. Not all the way to the end, of course. But for the foreseeable road ahead. And that's assuming, of course, you guys don't deviate from it with your many, many shenanigans. Though it'll get a little closer. <laughs> mm -hmm. And try and try and whisper to uh, the doll. <laughs> Conspiratorially. <laughs> now, nice now, here's the question. Ah, oh, damn it. I was going to ask, do you whisper to the doll or to Roma? No, to Roma. Um... The and woman. what if and what if we find some resistance she glances back and eyes the people who are shaking their head along the way anything you can do about that I'm sure it can convince you're, them, you're, you're but... trying to be quiet but not yeah. li not so much so that the other conspirators in your company can't hear you Is that, do I have that correct <sighs> like do you want the, the naysayer so to speak to hear or no? Or are you trying to so thoroughly do the bit that you actually do keep it quiet from them? Yeah, I'm trying to thoroughly do the bit and keep it okay. quiet. Because okay. because my thought process is why would someone who genuinely wants this to happen and might have resistance from party members want the party to hear that they're asking what the doll can do if we have resistance? No, no. <laughs> While still then trying to assure me... the doll that that shouldn't have to come to place. But if it does... <laughs> Roll me your stealth. Everyone else, roll me your perception. You can try your hardest, but some people are just eagle eared. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can try hard. Or hawk eared. Or hawk eared. God damn. <laughs> Jesus, I got to be here. Everyone's <laughs> cleaning you out right now. What about Karadog? What about Karadog, baby? Yeah, so no, no, he's got it. Hey. Wait, no, he doesn't have to give perceptions or uh, a guidance to you. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh no, you have already you were already selfie. I thought I thought I thought that this stuff was stuff. I tell me. No, 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 no. I haven't. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just thinking. So cool. I'm just thinking. Is there anything I can do with this? Is there anything I can? Everyone uh, rolled so well. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone rolled so well. Uh, hold on, hold on. Very hard on the paint on the bit. <laughs> Wait a minute. The lowest roll here is a fifteen. Like actually, <laughs> die result. <laughs> Stealth is an ability check, right? It <laughs> is, it is an ability check, yeah. <laughs> what if I chug an alchemical trans potion real quick? And then get I... advantage. You you good. I will. Okay. Mark it down. What's in your mouth? What's She's... in your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> Just punch her in the stomach while she's drinking. You... <laughs> As you walk over to Roma, you pull out your trance concoction and begin chugging it like, like a shot. And this. Oh, she swirls in... it before she chugs it because that's what you do to make it go faster. Sure. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Swish, 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 like a toilet. And you feel this <clears throat> influence lean upon you now. You know it to be in an, a heightening of your own physiological capabilities, but there's also always that element that. Of, well, Lotravu is the one that technically made it. So, in that regard, its influence on you grows. And as you walk closer, the doll gets a bit of a smirk as you do that. Dark power holding dominion over a being, to dark power holding dominion over <laughs> another being. Interesting. Very interesting. 
So it, it's Uh-oh. it's rather thrill of that you're really doubling down your your devotion to this <laughs> dark machination, <laughs> literal dark machination because it's dark right now. Roll yourself. <laughs> yeah, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't think you have guidance on that. No, well, I don't imagine so. <laughs> if if do, do I think Caradoc is is trusting Dahlia to have Roma's best interest at heart, and maybe he's just really naive about that. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> but I think he believes that Dahlia is trying to help. So with that in mind, I think he would still believe that what you're doing is for for the betterment of the situation so i think i would guide you gain with that plus said four. i don't you think i lose. beat anyone still you still lose yeah you still lose with yeah. one, one. <laughs> i still but lose it, it is a character point that caradine does do it yeah minus seven dishonor or no, okay. oh my god <laughs> <laughs> if only it was that easy yeah, so he's so to to the house of nigel would love you then i digress though so you guys all hear it <laughs> Now here's the other. (laughs) Now here's the other. Here's the other thing, though. (laughs) I didn't even need the advantage. Oh my god. (laughs) I mean, it is Roma. (laughs) Doesn't have guidance, logically. (laughs) But I think a twenty-eight still beats. Yeah, ties with it ties with Falk. Interesting.